Hi my artsy folks, my name is Alina, I'm an artist, a researcher and an entrepreneur. This blog is about self-development for artists, about organizing your artistic projects and about artistic research. Today's video is what we all love to look at, mistakes of other people. And I feel like sharing some of mine with you, because why not? Maybe it's gonna be of some use. So the first mistake in organizing my projects, in managing my career is thinking that I have to do everything myself. How far can we go with this mindset? Ask yourself, maybe it's something that sounds familiar to you. I thought that I'm responsible for everything. I have to make sure everything is done 100%. I will actually talk about that mistake later. And that it's my fault. If something doesn't work and it's just always my fault and that I'm bad at organizing and I have to always improve and I have to reach all the goals myself. Even when there should be teamwork, even when it should be collaborative, I felt like it's me who is carrying all the weight. And honestly, it's hard. It's hard to live with this mindset and at some point I realized that it's okay to delegate. It's okay to not do something. Sometimes it's okay to not do something on time because we all have lives, right? So it's fine to ask someone to do something for you. It's fine to hire someone to do something that you cannot make because you don't have enough time. We are all responsible for being professional, for being tidy, for making our art happen, for being a good friend, a good student, a good worker, a good child, a good parent, a good partner, a good collaborator, I don't know what, but it's a lot. And when we think that in organizing our projects, we also have to do everything on our own, sometimes things just collapse because we put too much weight on ourselves. Please learn from my mistake. Please collaborate with other people. Please look for people to help you and people will be happy to help you in most of the cases. Don't be like me. Mistake number two, applying to only one job, school, foundation, grant, whatever, you name it. Don't apply to only one thing because if you don't get that, you don't get anything. Make a plan B, make a plan C, a plan Z if you need to make a contingency plan. What is contingency plan? I was explaining that in the budget video here. It's something that will serve you as a backup if your main plan doesn't work for any possible reason. Do yourself a favor and get yourself a soft mattress to fall on, okay? I've made that mistake when I was very, very young. It cost me a lot of money. Mistake number three, permanently gluing yourself to your opinion. Think about it. You have a view of the world that is like this, like that maybe, I don't know which angle. And then there is another person from another angle and they have this view. And then there is another person from this angle with another experience and they have this view. So. What do I mean by this? Of course, we all have our opinions and we defend them. However, it is always useful to listen to another opinion and maybe you disagree with it, but do pay attention and maybe you can learn something from another person's opinion and develop your own. Maybe even develop your opinion about something completely different. However, it's always useful to not only think that your opinion is the only correct one. It may not be so, and it's totally fine. Mistake number four, trying to have everything perfect. This relates very much to the mistake number one, but it's even worse when both of them are combined, and I have had that before. So I thought that I have to do everything on my own, even when it should be teamwork, and I have to have everything done perfectly. Please aim to do something really well, but what is actually perfection? Where is this perfection? Because 
we are all alive, we are all human beings and there is a whole philosophy that perfection might not even be achievable because what is alive moves all the time and perfection is perhaps one state that is frozen if i may say think about it if you reach what you think perfection is what are you gonna do after that you're gonna stop and seal your perfect work and say okay i'm not gonna work anymore i'm done with this profession i'm done with this art you are doing or whatever you are doing you're done with it because you've reached perfection it doesn't make any sense we can't reach perfection because we are all alive that's what i believe in we can reach something really amazing and the next second it's gonna be another thing that can be amazing in another way but what is perfection can we even reach it so we are aiming to reach something that is not even there perhaps because I don't know if perfection can be achievable. Please comment what you think. And then we are mad at ourselves that we didn't reach it. And then we don't feel good about it, of course. And we push ourselves even harder to reach something that is not reachable. So it's a closed loop and we don't feel good about it. Instead, we can choose to feel good about something that we have actually achieved. Maybe we have done a brilliant work doing something and we can acknowledge that and we can choose to feel good about that so this mistake uh, i would say it's a faulty approach of trying to reach some kind of a perfection can be transformed into acknowledging what was actually good that you have achieved and i'm not saying to dwell on that and stop your development but you have to acknowledge it as a step towards the next step towards the next step it's about the process for me it's not about a goal of reaching some sort of a perfection that doesn't exist of course all these mistakes led to the number five mistake disregarding my health what does it mean as simple as it sounds there was no time and energy to live healthy and I don't think it needs that much explanation. I'm right now on my way to fix this, to fix all of these mistakes. I really hope you're doing better than I am here. Write in the comments who's on the same road with me. A quick reminder that during this month, December 2020, I'm offering free 30-minute consultations on organizing your artistic projects. I can look at your project descriptions, at your artist statements, at your grant applications, budgets, what not the link is below in the description please watch my playlist on organizing your artistic projects please don't come to me on zoom empty-handed don't tell me i don't know how to write this and that because i did give you some tips and for tips you're welcome to sign up for my mailing list and when you do sign up you'll be able to download my personal guide with basic questions that will help you write a project description with my personal list of grant databases and with a budget sample. In my newsletter, I'm discussing project organization, more on my consultations, more on artistic research, on self-development for artists, and there will be more fun stuff coming up. So I hope you like this video. Don't repeat my mistakes. Don't try to make everything look and sound perfect because it's impossible. Drop it and do it really good. Enjoy the process or you risk to become crazy. Don't do that. Sign up for my newsletter. Hit the like button for this video if you liked it because this will help the YouTube algorithm recommend it to other people. Subscribe and click the bell button. I will be looking forward to meeting you personally during one of my free consultations this month and in the meanwhile have an amazing week and i'll see you in the next video bye bye